Oh no, there are two leprechaun guards here, and they don't look pleased to see you at all. What are you going to do now? Wonderful job! Leprechauns find fiddle music irresistible. The moment they hear the music, they begin dancing a frenzied jig. Finally, swept away by the snappy music, the leprechaun guards zap right out of the room. Overhearing the fiddle music you played in the hallway, the leprechauns have begun to dance. As they do, they pop away in a fit of merrymaking. The shield is made of titanium and is rimmed with jewels. You take the magic shield. Congratulations! The scepter is fashioned from gold and silver and accented with emeralds. You take the Leprechaun King's jeweled scepter. The small hole leads to the outside world. You eat the mushroom. Congratulations! You now have all three of Daventry's lost treasures. Now don't waste any time. Bring the treasure straight back to King Edward before it's too late. The portcullis is the only entrance to the king's castle. That's odd. Why aren't the guards at their posts? More curious still, the courtyard is deserted. This area is usually filled with the ladies and lords of the castle. This is highly unusual. You begin to feel deeply disturbed, as if all is not right within the castle. You can faintly hear a commotion in the king's chamber to the west. There is nothing to be done. Oh, our king's melancholy is too much for his heart to bear. 
If only Sir Graham had returned with the three lost treasures of Daventry. Your Highness, I am at your service. Did... did you succeed in your quest? I did, Your Majesty. Here, as you commanded... The Magic Mirror. The Magic Shield. And the Magic Chest. I'm afraid it is a little too late for me, but you have done superbly, my knight. As I promised, the crown is yours. I know you will serve this kingdom well. The, the king is dead! Long live the king! Long live the king! And thus ended Sir Graham's quest for the lost treasures of Daventry. Despite the loss of their beloved King Edward, the people of Daventry grew happy and prosperous for years to come. And whenever King Graham looked into his magic mirror, he saw visions of adventures yet to come for him, for his children, and for Daventry, the land he loved so much. <laughs>